Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. I gotta run and get my iPad. I'm, I'm not organized yet. Here we go. Okay, this is going to be a an arts and crafts show. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff tonight. So if you're watching this at a later time and you want to zip through the boring parts to get to the fun parts, I invite you to do so. Uh, in the meantime, I will be interacting with the craft with the chat room, and we'll be um, doing some different things. And that's how we work. So I welcome everybody that's here. To, and I am just, I am a few minutes early, which is good, <laughs> which is a good thing because we can get a few things out of the way. Get started. Get started. I've been in here for a little bit today and uh, doing some stuff. And let's see if I can get my iPad up here. Here we go. We've been playing with backgrounds. Um, Saturday we played with some backgrounds. So I think we're going to use these backgrounds tonight. And then I will I will prepare these two pages with two more backgrounds for the next time. It's kind of the way I'm going to try to do it. So uh, if you haven't seen how I've been doing my backgrounds, I've got a book here that I did in 2016 and it's got all these different background techniques in it so we're going to try to do some of them and uh, if I do two a week we'll get we'll get you some new ideas for some backgrounds <laughs> hi everybody coming in hi Janet and Teresa hello hello how are you Teresa are you feeling better Okay, she's going to be cooking. Teresa's going to be cooking. I know it's dinner time. Hi, Becky. How you doing, Becky? She was on this morning. I didn't get to come in. We made some errands. Had to go. Uh, Joe, we had to break quarantine. Joe went to the post office. <laughs> and I went over to my sister's house. Good, good, good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, we're going to be doing this. And this, I've got this here that I'm going to use for a background technique. And I'm, I'm just waiting for people to get in here. Well, hi, Joe. Hi, honey. How you been? How's Janet doing today, tonight? Janet, <laughs> it's getting close to her bedtime. Hi, Sharon. Oh, you're welcome, Sharon. That was fast. Good, good. I got me some aluminum foil. <laughs> so I thought I would try it and sharpen my my uh, punch. That someone said to, to put to 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 use aluminum foil and it'll sharpen the edges up. And I need to do it on this one too. There's about three spots on here that does it. Uh, cut real good like it used to there's paper in there maybe that's why it doesn't work didn't get much luck well I'm going to try it I'm not saying I'm going to have any luck either but it can't hurt to try couldn't make it any worse surely it couldn't make it any worse I can see where if if there was like glue or something sticky on it, you know, or, or, or if, it, if it's got wet paint on it or something that you tried to do something through wet, something wet, and it might have gotten paint on it or maybe some glue or something, I can sort of see where it would clean it off. But, you know, it punches all the way through, so it should cut all the way through. And there's no way that we can we can um, 
bend these things. They're so they're out of hard metal. So it looks like you know it goes flush to everything. I see everything flushed. So I was wondering where it, it was not cutting through. So anyway, we'll play with that for a minute. <laughs> We'll play with that for a minute. Let me get some scrap paper. So, uh, we'll try some just regular paper like this. And see. Now that one went through, so that one's good. Okay. See, that one's good. So this one's all right. It's this one, I think, that uh, doesn't want to cut all the way through. And it, maybe it was had to do with the size, the type of paper. Now, I did it. So, where is the butterfly? <laughs> it's still on the paper. You see? So, there's a spot there. Of course, I don't mind tearing a little spot, you know. But it, and there's a spot there. All the way around. And there's a spot there. And there's a spot there. On the tearing, on the outer side. There's like four spots on the outside. And then on the inside of this butterfly, it's always this side of the wing that doesn't punch. So it's it's this side. But it goes all the way through when I push down. It seems like it goes all the way through. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to have some shiny shapes if I do it. Yeah, if it, if it punches it. I'm going to try two at a time first. And this has a this has a spring in the butterfly one. And, and I have to put my whole weight on it when I, I have to stand up and do it. With my whole weight to get it to go down all the way down. See, it still had a little and it did and then there's the chad on the other side the chad didn't do it come out it's a chad remember the voting chads <laughs> that was so funny but you can see that uh, some of the uh some of the cutouts didn't work we could put them in our butterfly book let's try it again Oh, it's a flaw. But I didn't, I don't remember it used to doing that when I first bought it. I don't remember it doing that, but it must be. I agree. It's the little chads on this one side. It's over here. But it punches through. So that's why I don't understand how there could be a chad. You got you like the silver butterflies. I'm just trying to sharpen my my cutter because I love this. I love this um, this punch. It's probably one of my favorite punches next to these. And I've got three sizes of these, and I've used these a lot, a lot, lot a lot. <laughs> Still got chads. Still got chads. It's all right on those. T 
Janet has a rainy day today. Okay. Painted the fireplace silver today. Ooh, how pretty. That's going to be shiny when it, when you're flickering the fire. When you get the fire going, you're going to have a flicker of light reflection. That'll be nice. See, I did this one sitting down, and it didn't come out all the way. Now, I did that one standing up, and it and it cut, and the and the the uh, the chads are still there. Okay, we played. We didn't conquer, but we played. So, I don't know what I'll use that for. Nothing, I guess. So, anyway, let's get started on what we're going to do tonight. And, um, I've got a, a little poem over here. For a mother's page, and I've got uh, we can do a mother's page first. And I have here this blue box. I've I opened it up, and I'm going to I painted it so we can put this block box together today to uh, use it in my storage. Uh, I'll show you. I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna put my ACT cards and uh, the, the playing cards. Nora's in here, honey. We'll go out. We'll go outside. She don't want to go out. She wants to stay here with me. So anyway, this is just a a food box that had some snacks in it, and I opened it up, and now I'm going to put it back together. And um, and I've got some playing cards up here that I don't use all the time. So I thought I would put them on the shelf and free up some space in front of me. I don't think she wants to go. She's probably if she. You've already fed her though, right? Well, I don't know why she likes it in here with me. I guess. I think she wants to see the girls. Oh. <laughs> it's a possibility. Yeah, I'm online. Hi, Joe. <laughs> the sandwich is good. Yeah. I'll put less on mine. Yeah. I used that hard toast that was in the toaster. There's, there's hamburger. Yeah. Still in, um, already made it, but... Oh, I'm fine for now. Maybe later. Thank you, honey. I just oh, picked this ham and cheese sandwich. Let's see. They say, hi, Nora. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll put this together. And I think I'll put it just in case. I'll go ahead and put a paper clip on it. To make sure that glue dries on the end and it won't fall apart on me. So it dries real good. I'll secure it. See what we got on this side here. She's been outside a couple of times today and she has played and played and played and run. She runs. Oh, I got a video to show you. I can show you all that too. Of Nora. Of Nora. I do. I do. I went outside yesterday. And she was running in the yard. And she was throwing something in the air. And I think it was a pine cone. It was so funny. She'd throw it up in the air. And she'd roll over on her back. And oh my gosh. She just plays in the yard. And plays by herself so well. And. And. Um. She, she, you can see, you'll see how big my backyard is. It's a good size backyard. It's, 
it's a good acre back there because we have an acre and a quarter. So I'm saying the, the front, the house in the front yard is probably a quarter and the backyard is almost an acre. Thereabouts. So that's a nice romping space for sure. Let's see here. What have I done? Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for just a minute while that's drying. If I can get Nora up here, if she don't take off. Nora! Hi, Nora. Nora, girl. Little Nora. And she weighs 35 pounds, girls. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe how much weight she's gained. She's gained at least 10 pounds since I've had her. I won't we'll be able to do this very many times and much more times. There's Nora. <laughs> lay down. If you lay down, they'll see you. You can see them. They'll see you. <laughs> Here's Nora. Say hi, everybody. Hello. She's so soft. She's like velvet. I sweet. It is. It, her skin is like, her fur is like velvet. It is so soft. You don't want to stop petting her. And I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love her. But there she is. I'll show you the video of her now. Thank you. <laughs> no her paws I think her paws are pretty big oh my gosh they're a lot bigger than Abby's yeah they are this is not a very long video so but there she goes see how she lays on her belly she does that in the bed and everywhere she does it on the carpet that's the way she lays down Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. She runs here in a minute. This is a, like a three minute video. There she goes. Let's see what she's going to do next. Hi there, Nora. Run. <laughs> I was filming her, and I don't think she knew I was there at first. Yeah, she's a girl, too. She comes. She's coming up to say hi. There she is. <laughs> There she is. Okay, now she's going to take off running here in a minute. And she likes to dig. She digs in the sand. Checking that shell out. She, if she could pick that shell up, she would have. She's all puppy. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. She's showing off now. Wait for it. <laughs> I'm telling you. She'll take off running. There she goes. Let's chew on this. Oh, let's dig a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can dig down. Oh, she digs it to a cool spot and then she lays in it. Hey, 
playing. She's playing with the grass. She's not eating it. She's just pulling up weeds. She just likes to do stuff. And I told Joe I need to look up some uh, dog toys that are popular for dogs to play with outside. And I'll have to see if I can find something for. And I, I told him I, we wa were watching the, the Crufts uh, dog show. It's a Britain's. Uh, it's like American Kennel Club dog show in America. But they have a Crufts. C-R-U-F-T-S, Crufts, dog uh, competitions. And they were doing agility the other day, and I watched it. We were watching it, and I said, I'd like to have uh, Nora do agility in the backyard. I think she would, uh, I think she would agree with it, you know. I think she takes off running here again. I don't think she stays there. Hi, Cheryl. I got your letter today. Finally. I finally got your letter. I'm pretty sure it's still going. Maybe that was it. Let's try this video. Now, she's in the background. She's back there behind that palm frond. And now you can see her jump. Now you see her jumping. <laughs> and she runs back up to me and back out. She runs. Here she goes. Now where's she going? She didn't see me yet. Are you up there? She says, are you there? Who's up there? Who is that? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> and now she sees me. <laughs> now she's going to run. I can't keep up with her. She runs so fast I couldn't keep the, the camera on her. Where is she? Where is she? I'm looking for her. There she is. There she is. She's fast. She's chewed that lid up. That's off of a five-gallon bucket. And she has chewed that lid up. There she goes. That's her yard. Here she comes. There she goes. <laughs> I thought it was funny to watch her run. I guess that's it. But anyway, there was Nora. <laughs> Let me go and uh, get my Happy Mail and, and see. What, I haven't opened my Happy Mail yet. I got a bunch. Here we go. I might as well turn that light on. Might help. I got a new Dick Blick catalog, a little one. And I do like to order from them. And they've got sometimes they got cool pictures in their uh, catalog. <laughs> I use the pictures to in my art sometimes. Not a whole lot in this one. But uh, but that's that catalog. I'll look at that later. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get my marker out. Oh, 
okay. <laughs> Cheryl's tired. Okay. I'm sorry, Cheryl. That's from a girlfriend up home. That's from somebody at church. I can open those later. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm. I know who that's from. <laughs> okay, Nora. Okay, Nora. We can open this one. This one's from Arlene. Our very own. This is from the Ambeds. Look, I got a prize. $10,000. Wow. I might have some stickers in there. This one's from Lisa. Because I know where that address is from. We can open that one. And I think this is someone local. Because it says it's Orlando. <laughs> So I can open that one later. And this one's from Cheryl. There we go. So I got three I can open with you guys that you'll be interested in. Hi, Nancy. Hi, everybody coming in. <laughs> oh, Cheryl was up with Mary this morning and then Tanya again at one o'clock. Woohoo! Yeah, if you if you drift off, I understand. I know where you are. You're on the couch, right? <laughs> She's on the couch. Oh, there's another address. Sorry. Oh, I'm just not worth it. I'm not worth anything today. Keep this up. And this is Happy Mail from Barbara, our one of our new members, Barbara Moore. It was, yeah, that was good, ain't it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's my it hit the spot. It was hot. Oh, it's hot. This is cold. No, the weather is hot. Oh, okay. I was hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll say this is kind of chilly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is from... Oh, let me get, let me get to uh, Cheryl's first. She sent me some little doodads that I dropped. <laughs> She sent me in a twinchy. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Thank you. And a little circlet. It's a calendar. So she said, and I can I can use the owl and the butterfly. So we'll use that in our happy mail for sure. Thank you, Cheryl. That was nice. Thank you, honey. And then she sent me an ACT card. Ooh, how cute is that? Did you see the potters killing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Saw that sentence and said, yep, that's for Beth. Thank you, Cheryl. And I guess what I was doing last night, girls, I was making crosses. I was out in my clay. And this looks like a little something, something. Let's see what it says. It's a zine. It's a zine. A zine, zine, a zine book. Woohoo. Okay. It says friends. And I know she drew that. I'm sure of it. And then it says, a friend is a person you have known as a child. A friend is a person you have known a year ago. It's our anniversary, Cheryl. <laughs> and to share with in good times and bad. Yes, yes. Friends are like stars. You can always see them. But you know, you can't always see them, but you know that they're there. 
You've got a friend. And she dated it. Thank you, Cheryl. I love it. <laughs> it's a little book. So I'm going to put that on our Happy Mail Today page. And um, I'm going to put this in my ACT uh, book. It's my ACT book. This is my ACT book. It looks like a little book. And it's a homemade little box that I made with Aunt Beck. So I've been using mine, Aunt Becky, if you're still in here. I've been using my little ACT box. Thank you, Cheryl. That was really, really nice. So we're going to use this on our page to... I'll go ahead and cut it out because we know we're going to do it. We know we're going to use it for sure. For sure. Okay, that one and the butterfly. See, I use everything I can find. So I love it. Thank you, Cheryl. Very, very nice. And these two little, two little pieces. Okay, and this one is from Lisa. And she sent me a little sympathy card. Oh, how precious. Look how pretty that is. It looks like an antique. Printed in the USA. Oh, isn't that pretty? Sending thoughts your way. I've got I got some information on on mother. May love me the father holds you in his heart hand during this time of great loss. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. That is so precious. It's got some glitter on it. It's really old vintage. It looks like vintage. And she's got a little flower stamp. I didn't see what Cheryl had. Cheryl had some flowers, too. I went back and got your flowers off, Cheryl, <laughs> too. These are Cheryl's flowers. And I'll put them on my Mother's Day page. Oh, how neat. And this is another flower, so I'll put it. It looks like it's from the same series. So I'll put this one on my Mother's Day page, too. So this will go on Happy Mail, and this will go on my Mother's Day page. And I've got... Something to show you for my Mother's Day page. Now, this is from Arlene, our little sweet gal from Arlene. And she's got some pretty washi tape on the back that I can use. And sometimes it doesn't do well when you peel it off. But if you cut it off, I think it leaves it more uh, stronger. It, and it's like, uh, it's easier to put back down. And when you glue it back down. It doesn't tear tear the tape. Sometimes when you pull it off, it tears. So I'm going to cut it because I am going to use this on my Mother's Day page. And she's got happy crafting. So I'm going to save that little sign too. That could be my theme for my happy mail theme. Oh, I see, Cheryl. Yeah, I know. Our 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 mail is a little slow. I'm in a, a royal rural area, and uh, sometimes I think our mail is a little slower. And uh, and it also depends on, I guess, um, like if there's a holiday or something, they're more busier. And I don't know. I don't know what the mail system is doing. But look at all this pretty stuff. She sent me some paper of women. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? Look at the vintage outfits. Isn't that cute? And some music paper. I can only, I was I was going to use music paper tonight for a background technique, so I can use this. I can use this too with this. It's going to be our 
a background technique that we're going to use here in just a few more minutes. We're going to use that. And I had some other newspaper or new music paper that I was going to use, but I'll use hers too. Okay, let's see here. Oh, she sent me a whole bunch of little things. Looky here at this at this uh, doily. Isn't that pretty? <gasps> That'll look good on my Mother's Day page. Wow. Okay, it's going on my Mother's Day page. And some other little snippets. Very nice. Very nice. And some new and some uh, some uh, tissue paper. Uh, napkin tissue paper. Look at that. How cute is that? I have never seen one like that. Isn't that cute? We're going to have to use that on the Happy Mail page. That is adorable. I will use part of it. Thank you, Arlene. Arlene, if you're here anywhere or watching it later. So she sent me some some uh, some love is what she sent me. This is an invitation. Your text here, some sample paper, and it's like um, stationery. Very nice. I love it, and I love this tissue paper. I love it. It is beautiful, beautiful, and some bee paper. Look at this bee. We'll find something. We'll find something for this. This is good. Morning to you. Some coloring things and some more scrap paper bits and bobs. Thank you, Arlene. That was so sweet. I really, really love it. Thank you so much, honey. I appreciate it. So let me wrap this back up. I don't think I folded it the same way she did. Let's try that. Very nice. Thank you. But we're going to use some of it on our uh, Happy Mail page for sure. And the rest, I'll hang on to it and uh, for something else. And so this is from Barb Moore. And, and she is one of our newbies. And uh, she joined our my group not too long ago. <clears throat> oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. And she wrote me a note. It says, Beth, this rabbit I found on Pinterest by Teresa Payton. The rest of the stuff I hope you will use or pass along. Thank you, Barb. Oh, how cute is that? Let's see what she says. This rabbit. Oh, how cute. Oh. And she painted it. It looks like because she signed it. Oh, thank you. Oh, isn't that cute? I love the little veins in his ears. Isn't that pretty? Is that going to go on our Happy Mail page? I think it will. And here's her love notes. And we're going to have to call her that. Put that on her page too. And then she sent me a bunch of other little stuff in here. Some napkins. <gasps> Looky. Ooh. This is my favorite collar. Looky, looky. Beautiful. Isn't this cute? I like. Yeah, I can see doing something with that. Oh, all of this stuff is really, really cute. Some painty papers. That's my favorite colors right there. And here's one in green. And some looks like tissue, painted tissue paper. Maybe a roll off, uh huh. If she did any kind of a jelly print, that could be a roll off. That's nice. We can use that for background decorations and some painty paper. 
Oh, wow. You're kidding me. She sent me a whole book of S&H green stamps. Look. Okay, let me tell you a story. <laughs> when I was a little girl, <laughs> I used to do this for my mom. And we had a little store that uh, you could probably mail these in somewhere and get credit for them. But we had a little store and it was close to the the electric store, GE Electric, you know, where you get all the fancy lights and things. But next door was an was an S H green stamp store. And you could take your stamps in there and turn them in and buy something with with your earnings. And mother got an apple cookie jar it was a cookie jar with a big apple it was a big apple and i got a transistor radio that was it was about this tall and it was kind of like a rectangle box and it was a it was a radio and i kept that i had that way up until i was an adult and i have no idea what happened to it i think it finally quit working but isn't this cool oh I don't know what I'm going to do with it. What can I do? Should I put it on my Mother's Day page? Since it's Mother's Day memory. Oh, wow. I'm tempted to do it that way. Since it was Mommy's <clears throat> apple. And, and the, the apple cookie jar is still at the house. Isn't that pretty? That could be pretty on the Happy Mail page. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Mm-hmm. Lots of painty papers. Yummy, yummy. Very nice. So thank you, Barb Moore. I really appreciate it. A couple more napkins. Isn't that nice? Wow, those are pretty. So she did good. She sent me some some uh, really cute painty papers. And she used all kinds of papers, different kind of papers, a variety of papers. She did real good. Isn't that pretty? I have to use a little bit of that on my page, too. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I, I might have to do a two-page spread. Might have to do a two-page spread. And then some music paper. And she painted on it, too. Ooh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, thank you, Barb Moore. I will probably put your name on me so that I'll know where they came from before. So I won't lose them. <clears throat> Thank you so much. And then this one was from Arlene. And I've already got Cheryl's out. Okay. So there we go. Okay, so let me get my book out. And we will get right into our our happy mail page. And then then after we do our happy mail on my mother's day, we'll do the do the um, Picasso. Unless you want me to do it first. You want me to do Picasso first? Janet, what do you want me to do? Then she has to go to bed. <laughs> I'll let her choose. You want to do the Cabasa? Cabasa, Pistachio, Picasso first. Shall we do it first? <laughs> you do what you want to do. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, I want to do, I'm going to do it all. This is my Happy Mail book and my Mother's Day book. I've done several Mother's Day uh, de dedications to mothers, to my mother. 
and we've also uh, put some tip ins in here because uh, I didn't have any place for them. So here's a page already at. Let's see, I got. I gotta have a pink page. I think I'll use this for Mother's Day page right here. All of these things will look good on this green. And I have something else that I, I picked out yesterday. And I'll go over them a little bit with you and let's see what we how we can put them down. I've got some extra paper. I've got this is extra, but I think it's going to clash with the pink and the red. So I'll save it for something else. And I've got a poem. I got two poems. Let's see which one we want to use. I got three things. I printed this out. And I also printed it out for my sister. Because it's it's written. It's written by a woman and by a daughter. But her hands held me gently from the day I took my first breath. Her hands helped me guide me as I took my first step. Her hands held me close when tears would start to fall. Her hands were quick to show me that she would take care of it all. Her hands were there to brush my hair or straighten my wayward bow. Her hands were often there to comfort the hurts that didn't always show. Her hands helped hold the stars in place and encouraged me to reach. Her hands would clap and cheer and praise when I captured them at length. Her hands would also push me, push me though not down or in harm's way. Her hand, hands would punctuate words just to just do what I say. Her hands sometimes had to discipline to help blend bend this young tree her hands would shape me and mold me into all she knew i could be her hands are now twisted with age and years of work her hands are now her hand now needs my gentle touch to rub away the hurt her hands are more beautiful than anything can be her hands are the reason I am me. So when I saw this, I said, it's got to go in my book. And I printed it, I printed it out for my sister too. And um, it just really touched me. It touched me very, very much. So, so I'm put, putting it down. I'm going to put her down in the book. Putting her down. Okay. Oh, my, my, my. And this really goes with it, too. don't know if I'm going to need that. I can save that for next time. And um, it's just a little piece of wallpaper that I had. And I put a, uh, a napkin inside that glued. And this is from uh, some friends that sent me some flowers from a poem. So we'll put that there and we'll put Lisa's card right here and I'll put that. Now, see, I've already forgotten who sent me, who gave me what. Who gave me what? I don't remember who gave me this one and I don't remember which one it was that gave me this one. And see, I had a heart, a pink heart in here. So I'll use, I'll use the one that I got. It was either 
it was Arlene that gave me this, wasn't it? This one, Arlene's. I think it was. And this one was from Barb Moore. That this is so cool. These are so cool. So cool. But that brings back fond memories. And then I just had a few more little snippets in here that I could use. I can use and I think that's enough for now and I'll save the rest of these little things for the next Mother's Day page. We're going to do Mother's Day pages uh, up until May the 10th. That's when Mother's Day is. So uh, we can do I, I think it I think it's good. Uh, I was telling Joe I think it's I think it's good therapy for me. And I don't know about you guys, but there's a couple other girls who have lost their mothers this month. And I think it's 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 nice to acknowledge our mothers. So I'm just going to put a little glue down and put these down. Cheryl said she was headed to the table to wipe her tears. I, I gave it to my sister today, and, and I put it in the envelope, and I said, this is for you to read tonight when you're all alone. I said, it will make you cry. And it made me cry when I read it. So uh, I know how powerful it is. So if anybody would like a copy of that, you just let me know if you would like a copy of her hands. Um, I've got it on my computer and I've got some more pretty stationery like this. And I would be most happy to send it to you. You just say something to me and I'll do it. I will do it. I have uh, plenty of stationery. Okay. Putting this down, came off the an envelope. Cute, cute, cute. Isn't that just cute as it can be? Can you see? Or am I out of frame? Looky there. Isn't that cool? It just goes with everything. Very nice. And one more little thing that I printed out, and I guess I could put it on top. But um, I wrote, I wrote myself a little uh, note, and I thought I wrote it down on something, but I don't. I don't even see it when I do with it. And it's right here somewhere. Where did I lose it? I'll look again. It's on a piece of paper. I thought it was with this stuff. I did, I did, and I don't see it. Okay, I'll find it here in a minute.
it was a little note that I handwritten out. Now I'm I'm sorry. I don't mean to be wishy washy here, but it's got to be right here. It is. <laughs> But it's uh, something that I wrote out, and I think I'm just going to tear it out and glue it down on top of this envelope over here. But uh, it's just something that I express to myself. And I'm sure that you all will understand why I feel these things. And you probably know about them, too. But it talks about my mom. And uh, I just want you to, to hear it, too. Maybe, maybe you can relate to it. But it says, I miss her face. I miss her smile. I miss, her ho I miss holding her hand. I miss our outings out, and I miss her stories. I miss the sound of her voice. I miss my mommy. So I'm putting that down right there. Right there. Miss, miss, miss. Do have some of these. Get back there. Glue these down. So, I'm going to have to just say, hang on to this. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. But uh, I do already have these down here. I'm missing my uh, another stamp. I knocked it off. I'm just losing it. If I come across it, I'll know where it goes. Here it is. Some flowers. Flowers for my mom. And I've got one more. Can I go there? How about that? Good. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to set this over to dry. Now i got to do a happy mail page. And I can still do that over here. And it's blue, and it'll look perfect on this orange page. Because I've got some of these, and I've got some napkin. Let's see what we can do here. Mary has a whole setup for Picasso. Well, she was doing a big page for each one of the faces and the eyes and the nose and the ears. So I think she is uh, she is really doing it up royally for sure.
for sure. Okay, I got a little piece of napkin. And I took the water brush and painted around it and it come apart. So that's good. And I got some torn paper. Which ones do I want to use? And I've got this. And won't this look good on the orange? Oh, yes. That's where it's got to go. Thank you, Barb. That is so precious. That is precious. I will be putting that down on that page for sure. And maybe I could put the stamps in here too. Let's see what else we got. This is pretty. This will go good on here. And a love note. And she sent me a little bit of this, but I guess I'm going to have to save it. Oh my goodness. I got a few more things from Cheryl that can go here. There's my owl and a butterfly. My twinchy and my happy crafting off of, uh, I think it was Arlene's envelope. And... I guess I could take, I'm just going to do just a little bit of this. Yeah, we're going to do our, our, our uh, Picasso next. I'm almost done with this. I just want to get a little bit of these cards on here. And I'll save the rest. Okay, let me get some glue down. Slap her down real good. Good. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put this over here. And I can come back and, and paint and watercolor that. I'm going to put this right here. Okay, and my zine, I'm going, I think I'm going to have to put this in as a uh, um, tip in because um, I don't want to glue the back side of it down. So I will wait till this dries and I will paint and I will put this in as a tip in with some uh, washi tape. Okay, almost done. Just got to glue this page down over here. Can you see me?
Isn't that just precious? And it's perfect for that orange page. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. Okay. So I'm just going to let this dry. This is our Happy Mail page. And I did uh, Barb Moore, Cheryl Johnson, um, Arlene. Okay, did I forget anybody else? You're welcome, Sharissa. Thank you. You're welcome. Um Barb and Arlene and Cheryl. And I've got Lisa over here in her sympathy card over here. So I think that was all of them, right? So I'm going to sit this over over here and let it dry. And... Uh, Hi, Mrs. Laugh 25 Smith. <laughs> Hi there. And I'm just going to have to save these for another time. Okay, let me put my brush up. I'm going to sit this over here and let it pie. Now let's play with this Picasso. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I do the best with what I got. So this is this is for the next the next game. The next page. Picasso is next. So uh, what I'm going to do is use the two background pages that we do we did last time. Uh, Saturday we did this uh, we did this um, tissue paper background and this fun with circle background so we're going to use these today to play Picasso on and I am going to put a light very light layer of gesso on this and let it dry while we're playing Picasso on this side and um, the reason why I want to do that is I want to just lighten it a little bit uh, push it towards the background and it's a trick that I've I've learned from lots of other people not from me <laughs> I didn't do it I didn't invent it but uh, Arlene and Lisa and Cheryl yep I think that was it and Barb I'm just going to put a little bit of gesso on this and I'm I'm going to uh, just a real light layer and a damp brush. Not really just pushing it back. And I might even want to take uh, a napkin or a tissue and maybe rub a little bit of it off. If it's too thick so I just want enough for it to go on the background uh, just about that much and then when I do Picasso on top of it it will be uh, better so let's get our Picasso paper and it's in the front of this book now in the pocket and we can play Picasso Pistachio, Cabasa, Picasso. <laughs> I thought that was 
really funny. <laughs> I want to get my dice. <laughs> okay, ready at the table. The first roll. If you haven't played this, let me know, and I'll and I'll tell you the the directions again. We roll the dice, and we get seven rolls, and we, we whatever dice we whatever the number is, we draw that item on that line. So the first number is five, and it's what I call a heart shape without a point, <laughs> or a jelly bean. It could be a bean, maybe. But this is the first face, and you can draw it on any way you want on your paper. Um, I will uh, probably just do this one in, in a marker, and then on this one I might do it with my snippet jar and do mixed media. <laughs> so this is called Roll a Picasso Game. And um, if you know anything about Picasso, he was a famous artist. And he did a lot of abstract paintings that was where the eye was off centered from where the eye belonged. You know, he put things differently in on his uh, people when he painted things. And uh, and he was famous. He was very famous. So I'm going to draw this. And this is supposed to be a face shape. So I'm going to use my try to use my whole page uh, with my face page with my face drawing. So I'm going to kind of draw a heart. And the bottom part is rounded, not pointy. And there's my face page, my face. And I drew that right there. And anybody can play this. You can just play on a piece of paper. You don't have to have a big piece. You can do it on a little piece, just notebook paper. Or, or you can even do it on a piece of text. Uh, it doesn't matter what you draw on. So uh, go ahead and uh, play along if you want. Use a pencil. It, you don't have to have a lot of stuff. You're just going to draw a face. And while I'm waiting, this was from last week uh, or Saturday, and I used mixed media. And this was from this is from last time we did it, and we used. Uh, we put the we put these items on here and they're abstract. So there's my Picasso and we name I've been naming mine. <laughs> I've been naming I've been naming my Picassos. And then this one we did freehandedly without the paper. And I'll explain that in a few minutes. So this is the first one, the first roll. And I've been writing down here uh the dice number because that's why we want to do it. <laughs> that's just the way we want to do it. So the next roll is Cheryl's playing. Anybody and Janet, are you playing? Six. So this is supposed to be an eye, the first eye. You can put your eye anywhere you want on your paper. Anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be inside the face. It could be on the outside of the face. It could be anywhere on the face. And it's it's a cursive E with a with a dot in the middle of the E part. It's a little E sign. And um I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to draw it first, a dot, and then I'm going to make an E. Janet's is playing. Cheryl's playing. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Here's what mine looks like so far. So the next one is the third roll, and it's from it's from this column, and it's the other eye. And you don't have to put it where it belongs. You can put your eye anywhere you want, anywhere you think you might. You're you're your own Picasso tonight. So, and you can continue to draw on your 
on your painting when you're when we're done and uh you don't you don't you know there's lot there's no rules <laughs> there are no rules <laughs> you can do anything you want and after you play a couple of times you go oh yeah okay okay then you then you then you understand after you play a couple of times and the next one is four the number four and that's going to be this eye uh, and i can put it anywhere i want and it doesn't have to be in this direction it could be sideways or long ways or anywhere you want to do it and um and i'm going to put it over here and the way you make that this one it's it's a half of a curve this way and then a half of a curve this way but they don't touch and they're off centered the only way i can describe that one nancy's playing thank you nancy oh i'm happy <laughs> Good, good, good. You see, I did these earlier. I haven't used them yet. They might go on here when I get done. Just might have to put these little guys on there. Good, good, good. Okay. Now I don't want to go too fast, but if you if if you need for me to repeat one of them, I will. And you, don't let me rush you. But I'm going to roll again. And this is the next number. Let's see. Did I write it down? Let's see. It was five, six, and four. And the next one is the fourth roll, and it's going to be a nose. See, up for the natural. Oh, you signed up for the Natural Habitat Travel Catalog? Oh, good. You're going to love it. It's got all those beautiful animals in it. And we've been painting along with them. We did the uh, bears, and we did the polar bear, and we did uh, another one, I think. A lion. We did a lion. Okay, here's the next roll. And it is a five. And this is an upside down seven on this paper for a nose. But you can put it, you can do it, you can do it any way you want to do it. If you want to make it look like a nose that way, that's fine. But it looks like an upside down seven. And I'm going to put it in the middle. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, honey. We're playing a Picasso roll game. Have you played it before? You want to play? It's a game. <laughs> it's a little game. We roll the dice. I'm going to roll again. Okay, it it is. It's fun. We roll the dice, <clears throat> and we're trying to be our own Picassos. So we first we drew a face, and then we drew one eye, and then we drew another eye, and then we drew a nose. And we can put them anywhere we want to on our paper. It doesn't have to be in their natural spots. And you'll see why in a few minutes, because we get to doodle on our page at last. The number three. So this is going to be a mouse. And the third mouth 
is reminds me of a cartoon mouth, but it's got a small lip with a big lip on the bottom. And this is a mouth. It's a small lip with a fat lip on the bottom. So the top of the lip is kind of got a little bit of a something like that. And then the bottom lip is like that. And there's my mouth. And when and uh, Cheryl, she'll post some of the other girls will post their pictures on my Facebook page. If you want, I'll show them to you as soon as they post them. So, uh, we got two more ears. We got two more ears to go. Let's see, we did five and we did three. I think I left one out. Then we did six. So we did six. I must have looked at the wrong one on that one. I did I did the second roll the twice, but that's okay. It's not gonna hurt anything. I got my rose and my Collins mixed up. And that's okay. You don't it won't matter. Okay, the next roll is four. Let's see, we did the mouth, and now we're gonna do an ear. And it's a box with a dash. It's this one right here. It's a box with a dash. A side of a box, but it's not closed up. The left side of the box is open. And you could put this in any direction. Okay. Got one more ear, and we're going to play. The, we're going to play this one more time over on this side, and I'm going to use my snippet jar, which has got all my little threads and leftover things in it. So it's going to be a mixed media in just a minute. <laughs> in just a minute, my last ear is going to be five. And it's a it's a letter C with a dash. A letter C with a dash up and down. Now at this point I'm going to doodle just a little bit on mine. And uh, add anything else you want to want to it. And here's what I'm going to do with this one. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And I'm going to put those butterflies in her hair.
I hear my kitty cat. Okay. I'm just now, just came on, Kathy. I'm going to play the Picasso game one more time. We're doing it again. Better late than never. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going, we did this background the other day, so I'm going to paint on top. I'm going to do it with, uh, with snippets, with, with strings and ribbons. And I'm sorry, but I like it. <laughs> I like it. Now, let's see while we're waiting for everybody to finish up. I'm going to do a little touch up on my glue in here. Okay. Let's see. That was uh, three, four, and five. Okay. So here we go. We're going to do it again. This one's going to take a little bit longer because I'm going to be, you know, using my, my snippet jar so it's number one and this is the face kind of looks like a, a shoe print doesn't it like a big shoe print let's get some yarn out of here and make a big shoe print this will work I don't think there's an end to it. Here's our big shoe. I'm going to I use uh, I'm going to use my tacky glue first to draw my shoe print face. <laughs> shoe print face. And it's it goes in in the middle and out at the top. And then back out at the bottom. Something like that. <laughs> okay, that's what mine's going to look like. That's just the way it is. So I'm going to start over here and just tap, tap, tap into the glue. Okay. And when we get done, I can also uh, highlight or, or doodle around around this piece of yarn and to make it more black. I can do it now while we're here. <laughs> There's my face. <laughs> well, Kathy, in a few minutes, 
we we made these up Saturday or the other day, Saturday, and I'm going to be making two more pages for the next time when we play. So as soon as we get done with this one, we're going to do two background pages techniques, and I'm going to show you how to what we're going to do. If you wanted to use my background techniques, I've been I'm going to demo. I demo this background uh, page and this background page Saturday. So they dried over the past couple of days until now. Because I have a book that I have uh, that I've done in 2016, and it's nothing but background pages to how to get how to get your backgrounds started and and all of these techniques and there's like you know 25 or more in here and uh and i can show you how to do each one of these background pages so that's what we're doing <laughs> if you want to play along with me if not okay all right let's go with the next roll we did the face let me draw my little, my dice. The next one is five. And it's an eye. And I call this eye um, a sideways. It's like a V, and then you have a marble in the middle middle of the V at the at the top showing some of the white spots. There's like a marble, and then you got four eyelashes. And it's real easy to do. It's not too hard. I'll show you. It's a V, and then you do the back side of the marble on the top part of the marble and color that in inside the V. And then you have an eye, and then they have eyelashes. Okay, that's what it is. So I'm going to see what I can do here. I'm going to have to go let my kitty cat out because she's crying. I don't allow nobody to cry around here. Let me go let her out. What you crying about? Huh? What you crying about? Looking to see what I could do for an eye. <sighs> see what I could do for an eye. Something around. I've got a piece of fabric here. I think I'm going to use this with multimedia. you got to really use your imagination on what you think you might be able to use. And I'm going to use this as my marble. 
and cut put one of those out. And so that's going to be my marble. And now I just need some thread. Maybe navy blue. blue. Let's see what I got in here. Some purple. Is that dark enough? That'll be all right. So I'm going to put this down right there. I'll glue it down first. I don't know what she wants. And I'm going to make a V for my eye if, with glue. And I'm going to put my yarn to make the V. So there's my V, and then I've got to make some eyelashes. Kathy, no, um, I'm not sick. I'm tired. So I'm just going to glue some little eyelashes. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. That poor little kitty sounds sick. I know sometimes I get a little excited. <laughs> I think you might have seen me when I was excited. I get really hyper sometimes when I get excited. Don't I, girls? They'll tell you. So there's my V. I like it. There's my I. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, a, I am tired. Mm -hmm. But I'm okay. Okay, I'm going to roll another one. Here we go. We're we're doing our second Picasso. I'll save this uh, fabric for another day. Go we'll roll these dice. Number three. <laughs> yeah, they are, Janet. And I have been emotional today. <laughs> Just a little. Okay, we got number five. I'll try to cheer up. And this is this is an unusual uh, uh, an unusual shape. It almost looks like a thumb, but it's a uh, it's an unfinished circle or oval shape, and and it's an unusual shape. I don't know what to call it, but this is supposed to be an eye, and I don't know what the to nickname it. <laughs> I am. I will. I'm going to be myself. So let's see. What should I do? Any suggestions? <laughs> Any? I can. You want me to do it out of fabric again? I could do it out of fabric. Let's try it. See what it looks like. And I could still use the uh, the purple. For the uh, uh, eyelashes part.
I could still use the purple for the uh, to match the eyelashes, but I, they're going to be going down another direction. And I think I'm going to, there's pretty a lot of room up here for this eye, so I think I'll put it up there. Find the end here. Here we go. Let's see. It's that shape. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it out of this fabric and put it right here and put the yarn around it to match the other piece of yarn. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> we'll give it a go. So that's kind of, and I'm going, I'm putting it at the other, the ops, I'm flipping it to the other direction, which I don't see any reason why you can't do that. Because it's, I'm the Picasso. I'm the real Picasso. I hear my kitty cat. <laughs> Goodness gracious. She's meowing at me. She is. Trim that. And then I'm going to make four more little eyelashes out of my yarn. And put them on down here, I guess. I could do them anyway. Like that. Now, now, now. Get on there. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> probably, usually, usually the dogs know too. No, those are eyes. I'm sorry. Those were eyelashes. <laughs> okay, now the next one is a nose. Is is the nose? Oops! Careful that. So let me get the dice, and these are the nose choices over here. So let's see what we get for a nose. Here we go, and we got a two. And the two reminds me of an upside down question mark. See, it's kind of an upside down question mark with two little nostrils. It looks like a question mark upside down. See, that looks like a question mark with the two nostrils on top. An org nose. I know. Okay. Let me see. What should I be? What should it be? What should it be? What's in my snippet jar? I mean, in the, I've been getting into that purple thread for some reason tonight. I do. Let's 
is a different color purple. Should I just stick with the purple? Since I'm into it. Looking goofy here. <laughs> okay, Cheryl. <laughs> okay, let me let me uh, see what I can do. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use this purple, and I'm gonna use use the figurine that's there. Okay, and then two dots. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm not particularly proud of that one, but that's what it is. <laughs> I think it looks all right. Yeah. Well, you, we'll, be, we'll be doing it again on Thursday. If you come back, Elizabeth, you can play with us. I, I've been trying to come on about 6.30 at night, but I usually start playing about 7. <laughs> it's okay. I'll tell you what it needs. It needs a draw. It needs some glitter. <laughs> it does. Let's see what I got over here. That ought to help. Help somewhere, maybe. Okay, I'm going to roll again. Everybody okay? We're going to do a mouse next. And it's going to be one. And this mouth <coughs> is kind of a looks like that and it's not all the way closed but I like to close my mouth you should keep your mouth closed <laughs> but it's got an, uh, a wave and then an, and, a, and a bottom lip goes like that that's the kind of mouth it is but I, I just can't leave it like that I have to go like <laughs> close it <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then then it's like you know that's the mouth so let's see here i do have some red fabric right here let's make it a red mouth let's see what i can cut out if i cut it a little bit bigger than that it might make it easier let's see Sometimes I'm amazed myself. <laughs> Sometimes I really amaze myself. And I, I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. There's a mouth. What do you think? Is that good enough? I like it. I love it. I like it. And I can still do a little uh, outlining on it if I want to. Like I did this one over here. Or what I did with, on the face. I could still outline my features. Maybe accent them a little bit more. Put some lip liner on her. Give her some lip liner. There she is. Now I got ears to do yet. She is posted in the group, but I have not got her a name for her yet. Oh, you, you posted yours? Okay. Oh, wow. Cool. Way to go. That is really good. Janet Picasso. Way to go. Thanks. That's cool. Okay, you ready for the next roll? We're going to do ears now. And the first one is a six. So we did this one the other day and we used a paper clip. <laughs> and I think I'm going to stick tonight. I'm just going to stick with this purple. I'm just into this purple tonight. So I'm going to use the purple one. But it looks like one of those hooks that you use to hang your Christmas ornaments on. And we used a paper clip the other day. And it was cute. It turned out real cute. This one right here at the bottom. That's an ear. So I'm going to use my purple yarn. And I'm going to put it where it should go. I don't know why, but I am. There's my ear.
There it is. Okay. Mine does look like a potato head. <laughs> That's what this game reminds me of. Mr. Potato Head. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to roll for the next ear. Three. I think this is the last one. Okay, I think that's it. So three on this one is uh, a box with the right side open and a dash. A box with the right side open and a dash. And I'm going to go ahead and stick with my purple yarn today and I'm going to make it a big box and a dash like that so here we go Okay, I did it. There's mine. Now, hey, you guys going to have to help me with names now. What are we going to name the, the, the girl and the boy? <laughs> what are we going to name him? I'm going to glue some hair down. Just for fun. Now, after we're done with the roll, you're allowed to do just about anything you want. If you want to, you know, continue to art on your Picasso, it's your Picasso. So, there's no, uh, there's no rules. No rules. So whatever you want to do. <laughs> yep, they look pretty good. I mean, there's no right or wrong. It's just, you know, it's funny, though, how they turn out different. Never any two alike. Give it a little bit of hair in there. And I think, where is my silver? I'm going to put some silver in my eyes. 
silver glitter glue. Just because. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm going to do the background next. These were done on last the last net backgrounds that we did. We did the tissue paper and then we did circles. And we did Picasso on top of those today. So tonight I'm going to do two more backgrounds. And then we'll do Picasso on these Thursday. We're doubling up on our jobs. <laughs> We're doubling up. Combining these projects. I think it looks good. I need names. I put the silver <laughs> butterflies in Sally's ear. We can name her Sally. Doesn't she look like a Sally? <laughs> what are we going to name these guys? Okay. <laughs> What'd you fix, Teresa? She always cooks something good. And, and so does, so does uh, Cheryl. Cheryl always cooks something good. Sandy? Okay. Sandy and Andy. Got it, Teresa. Sandy and Andy. Got it. Sandy and Andy. Today is April the 28th. I guess, man, this month has gone by fast. But I did do, I did do some more crosses. So I'm finishing up on my crosses. So if anybody has not gotten a cross let next, uh, haven't gotten their cross yet, you need to let me know. And I think uh, I've got a list of ongoing people that have. I know that they haven't gotten their cross yet. Pork roast with potatoes and gravy, yummers with collard greens and bread. Mm -hmm. I don't like the colored greens, but I do spinach. Oh, the crosses were crosses that I made, and I've been giving them away. These were, we did a pottery session last month, and, and the girls watched me make these, and they watched me paint them. And then I baked them in my garage. We learned how to do uh, pottery. It was a lesson <laughs> for two months. And sliced tomatoes. <sighs> Yummers. Oh, man. That sounds so good, Teresa. Green leafy vegetables. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to sit these. I'm going to put a piece of plastic between these. We'll put this in the front of the book so I don't lose it. I got a piece of wax paper I'm going to put right here so I can turn the page. Yeah, spring greens. Well, no, collard greens uh, are different than cabbage. I like cabbage and I like spinach. But collard greens are real dark like spinach. And they're usually a little bit bigger. 
and they have a pretty, you know, they have a, a, a green leafy vegetable taste. <laughs> and a lot of people put vinegar on them and or butter. Yeah, like turnip greens. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, so now I'm going to show you two more uh, ways to do a background. And all I do is my paperwork. And let's see, I can put that up, I can put that up, put that up, get my table cleared off here, just a speck, just a speckle. Did I put the dice up so I don't lose it? I did. Okay. So, in my uh, background book, I did these back in 2016. And um, there was, this was one. What did I do with it all? Come on. I couldn't have had, I couldn't have put it away too far. I had it out here before I started. Now I know I did. Well, what did I do with it? One moment, please. Sorry. Here it is. Okay, so this was a, a background that I learned how to do uh, with Cat Hand, and she had a series of uh, mixed media morsels, and uh, that's what she called it. And she showed us, uh, she's got a, she also has uh, videotapes on mixed media morsels, MMM for short. And she has a whole series of these if you want to go back into her uh, videos and look them up for Cat Hand. And uh, I used to watch her all the time. I still watch her. And um, so she she had us learning how to do different types of techniques. So the other day we did um, tissue paper. And tonight we're going to do... Uh, this has got text paper, but I'm going to use torn music paper and I got this in my happy mail tonight so I'm going to use it and uh, I'm just going to tear tear it up into um, all kinds of shapes there's no right or wrong in how you want to apply your tissue paper I think I'll take the edge off hi honey we're doing a background technique background oh mm -hmm. my yeah, we're learning how to do backgrounds. Oh. And and you can make up your own backgrounds. You don't have to do it exactly the way I do it. But um, I got this in some happy mail, so I'm going to use it. And if I don't have enough, I do have some more over here. And I did this earlier today. And this is just a piece of black cardstock. And I did white paint splatters with my uh, fan brush. I dipped my fan brush in, in some white paint and my and my brush was really wet. So it kind of made the, the paint a little soup, soupy, a little watery. And then I took it and I just took my paint brush and hit it on my finger, closed everything up so because it splatters on everything. And, uh, and I made these marks here and they're dry. So now I'm going to use this with my whole with my flower puncher with this one here and after i glue these down i'm going to use the black flowers with the splattered paint on them all over the the um, music paper It'll work if you don't put the paper in there sitting on top of it. I'm 
get in there. You ain't holding your tongue right. I must not be doing something right. It's catching. Let's see if that is enough. If not, we'll make some more. That's just one sheet. I mean, one thickness. Mm -hmm. So let me get my paper down. Okay. What you been doing, baby? Oh, feeding the ant hills. Feeding the ant hills. Yeah. What'd you feed him? Uh, bug spray. Bug spray and hot sauce. You've been, he's been putting oh, hot no. sauce on the, on the bit of ants. I didn't put that on there. I forgot. <laughs> I'll see which one survived this, and I'll take the hot sauce out there and feed them the last meal. Okay, I got plenty of this now, and we'll put some glue down. I've already got my my wax paper down. So let me get my glue, and some of this was Happy Mail. Everybody seem to be okay. And yeah, I think so. Everybody okay doing? Joe wants to know if everybody's doing okay. They're saying hi, Joe. Hi, lady. All right, Janet. Night, night, honey. Get some sleep. It's one thirty where she is. She lives in England, girl. Janet Nash. Yeah, buddy. So I'm going to put some glue down all over my paper and put this music paper down. all over and i'm going to go over the edge and then when it when it dries i'm going to trim it i'll trim it i'll go back and trim it up hi teresa and cheryl and All you other ladies out there. Gluing it down. Here we go. Well, the dog's been out. Except, I don't know if she, nor you been out, or nor didn't go out. Well, she she wasn't in here. We I had her for a few minutes. She was in the kitchen, the living room when we come in. Oh, okay. So we come in the side, in the garage door. She might have thought we was out there because the light was on. Who knows? Who knows? Who but knows? she does her running in the morning. And mm -hmm. she runs for two or three hours. She's outside. And she really wears out. She 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 does she plays hard. Well, uh, somebody's been out there playing around my neighbor's wooden fence. Taking and digging a hole. Did she dig another hole? I don't know if it's her, but Abby was over there. Barking. Abby would never have dug the hole. No. And uh, so I got a couple of little pieces of wood and put in between. The, Who's we? Lid, Abby. 
Okay. It's stuck it up in there. So if she does uh, dig another hole, it'll kind of drop down in that hole and uh, everything will be fine. Okay, I got my page all covered. And I'm going to take and put a little bit of this on top. This, uh, this gel medium is like a sealer. It's real fine. It's not real tacky like like the glue all. It's not tacky like that, but it's smooth. And when you put it over everything, it glues everything down. So everything's glued down real good. And then I'm going to dry this. And then we can cut the edges off. And then we're going to make some circles on, again. And I'm going to use all my curlers. They're all kinds of, uh, they're all open circles, if you can see. What I'm trying to say, and then we're going to glue after the circles, then we'll glue these black flowers down on top. So there's that. And I'm going to dry this. Oh, okay. She posted her picture. Okay. Violet says she got my package today. It's in quarantine. If you use gloves, you can discard the box and just keep everything inside of it. And you can even, since it's your, since it's a cross, you can wipe it off with alcohol because it's ceramic. You can wash it. But that's fine. Leave it in quarantine. Wow, Cheryl. Look what Cheryl did. I love it. That's cute. It's like something real. It <laughs> looks it looks like a like a realistic a wrapper or yeah. like a real wrapper. Good choice of, of design. Good choice of design. <laughs> How many days do you have to leave it in quarantine, Violet? Like <laughs> crap. So anyway, Joe went to the post office today, and I had some more packages to mail. So um, the the lady at the de at the desk was a different person than I had the last time. I had a guy; it was a young guy, and she says, "Oh well, you know, I take the boxes and I wrap my boxes so that it doesn't say U.S. Postal Service on it." She says, "Well, now if these are our boxes, we have to we have to charge full price." And because I was going to post them as um, educational because I put a CD in each one of the boxes. And if you if it's educational, it'll go at a less lesser price. And she jumped all over Joe and, and would not let him, oh, yeah. you know, get get the lowest price on him. And she said, well, we've changed things. That's not the way we do it anymore. You know, and um, so she was being very judgmental on the boxes. So I I come home and I can buy the same size boxes. I can buy them, and and I'm going to buy me some boxes, <laughs> buy my own boxes. It's still going to be cheaper to mail them, uh, as many as I have been mailing. So uh, so I've got to so I'm going to, I've got some I got to buy some boxes tonight. <laughs> they won't let me they won't let me do it my way. But they shouldn't judge, you know. You could take and paint them. You could spray paint them. Or... Well, they say if it's their boxes and they and they do an inspection and they can do yeah. anything they want. But they're... She asked me, she says, these look like post office boxes. I says, ma'am, I don't know what's it, what kind of boxes they are. I, I didn't see her do them. Well, you, 
You don't know? But I wrapped him. Yeah. But so, you, uh, you know, th th there shouldn't have been. There should, yeah. Oh. Reused boxes by painting them with black and. Well, I, I know, but if they say they're their boxes, you know. They don't put UPS on them. They uh, <laughs> they get mad, you know. So I so I'm going to buy my own boxes, and that way I won't I won't have to say they're their box they're not their boxes, so I don't have to lie. So I'm I'm just going, and they're not that expensive. They're only like thirty cents a piece. Really? Yeah. Oh, really, good. I know. Yeah, and I I guess you know they have staff meetings and stuff. And it's just so funny that some people are so laid back and others are real high, high strung. And this girl was obviously high strung because the last guy that I talked to, he told me that if I wrapped the boxes and, and didn't have the U.S. Postal Service showing, you know, that it was my box. But but now they're saying, you know, well, if they're if it's inside their box inside of this, you know, you can't do that. You know, we've got to charge you full price because they want to charge nine dollars a box. Yeah, I think I just I think so. I can take them to Well, I used clear packing tape all over the boxes so that they are, can be totally wiped down. Yeah, yeah. If you use another box, they wouldn't care. But I think you know they must have had a big meeting, you know, staff meeting. You know, is all I can say. So, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some painting. And I want to use all of my curlers and use the same, kind of like the same sizes of all of my curlers. I've got four different sizes of these round circles. So that's what I'm going to do next on the background. And I'll get a paper plate and I'll put some paint out in it. And we can use uh, uh, all colors. So I'll just use uh, a yellow. I don't need a whole lot of paint. And I'll use a bright green. And of course, I need a blue. Okay, my light's on out there. Hold me back. Okay, okay, honey. And maybe a purple. And we'll see how that works. Yes, you can. You can use triangles. You can use a, a, bop, a pop cap. Uh, if you have a pop or some kind of a top, you can use a lid off of a jar, lid, any kind of round, any kind of, yeah, anything you have. You could just use, if you want to use a credit card and just do lines, that would be fine. You don't have to do exactly what I do. Uh, the idea is to teach you that you can make different kinds of backgrounds and they're easy to make and they're easy to do. So I'm just going to do circles since I have all these curlers. And we could think we can thank Kendra next time you see her. Thank her for these because she sent me the curlers. And Kendra has been uh, sick. Well, she's had to have some knee surgery. And and they uh, were going in, removing the old knee and giving her antibiotics so that she could have a new knee put in, back in. So she she's going to be busy for a little while. Cheryl had to reboot. Okay. If you have a toilet paper roll, 
you can make your, you know, make circles using a toilet paper roll. Um, if you have any kind of a, a roll from the um, kitchen, kitchen towel rolls, uh, the uh, aluminum foil rolls or the wax paper rolls, you can use that as a circle. You can use the cap off of the glue stick. <laughs> yeah, you could use the cap of the glue stick and use it and then and then wipe it off and put it back on the glue stick. So you could borrow it. There you go. <laughs> mm-hmm. So now I'm doing the purple. And see, I wipe them off right after I use them. Throw them back in the drawer for next time. So. Yellow. Oops, got into the green. Wrong color. Won't matter. It doesn't hurt a thing. I might as well do some green ones now. See, I make it. Th I make it. Make you think that I planned it that way. Yellow and green. <laughs> I covered up my my mistakes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you could take a, a piece of cardboard and make your own circle. Sure. I use pill bottles. Um, you can use anything, anything with this that has a cap that you know that you throw away. It could be salad dressing cap, you know, any kind of a cap, deodorant cap. I use a deodorant cap, and it's oval. It's one of my favorite ones. Yep, any kind of a lid. I save my eye drop lids. Uh, my little medicine lids. If you have any medicine that you that you're done with, save the caps. You could even borrow the caps off of anything else that you have. Like my spray, I could borrow this cap and use it to make circles, and then put, you know, wipe it off and put it back on. And your pop lids, if you drink soda pop. So since I did yellow and green, I think I'm going to use either orange or red yeah anything hi Mitzi spools of thread good idea you can use a lid off of your paints you know use it and then wipe it off and put it back on sure I'm going to use a little bit of orange and red it needs red. Just a little.
That'll work. Got some red on there. Now I'm going to go right into the orange. Might as well. And I'm going to dry this. And then we're going to glue our little black flowers on. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's all right. You don't have to finish it all in one night. Um, hair dryer. He can. So here's the background page to that. <laughs> this looks better than the one I did yesterday. Or the other day. And while that's com continuing to dry, I'm going to go ahead over to our second background page. And I'm going to put down some wax paper. over here and I am going to use a this one's going to be done with torn paper we're not finished with this one yet I'm going to glue these black flowers on there next but I'm going to let this paint dry just a little bit so I want to put down some of this purple paint that I have and I'm going to use a, a real moist br uh, brush uh, I didn't I didn't dry my brush. Uh, it's really wet with water. And I'm loading it up with this purple. And I'm going to put purple down on this page. Because it's what's on my plate. And the reason why I've got some pink paper over here. That I'm going to use. Okay. I'm going to get my brush wet just a little bit and I'm going to rub this paint around to see if it'll smear out a little bit. There we go. That's what I like. A little bit more purple on there. And, uh, That's all I'm going to do with that. And then for this page, we're going to be doing something like it's called torn paper. So I've got uh, two different shades of paper. I've got a print and then I've got a solid. These, this, these are kind of like the solids. They're, they're very um, dense and dark. I'm just going to use two of them. And I'm going to take and tear strips out of these. And my strips are only going to be about a half inch wide. And I'm tearing the strips. Oh, I can use my, my uh, ruler, my new rulers. Ooh, let's try that. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Teacher, where's my new ruler? I got this from Teresa. Let's do it. So I'm going to lay it on the table. Can you see it? Yeah. And I'm going to lay my paper underneath it. And I'm going to try two at a time and see if it'll work. 
two at a time. And it's going to be hard because I've got... And it works. Good. That's good. I can use that for an edge, maybe. Okay. Let me do keep going. I'm going to make some more strips. Okay, and it doesn't matter that that little bit there doesn't doesn't bother me at all. That won't matter with that there. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa got me this. Cool. Cool strips. Okay, now we'll do some of the prints. Okay, I think we got enough. Let's see what we got here. Now, <clears throat> this is called a torn paper background. And, and what we do is we just alternate the dark and then a print. We're going to glue these down. And then a dark, a solid color, and then a print. And then a solid. And that's all. That's it. This is the background technique. Torn paper. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this off. And, and I'm going to put some glue down on my background. With my big brush. wonder where Suzanne is tonight. She must be sleeping because she sometimes she does sleep. She could be sleeping. So I'm just going to get uh, some glue. Okay, and I'm going to lay this uh, this down in sheets at a time. I'm going to match it up to the top, and then I can cut them all at the bottom. Just alternate two, and you can do this with two different colors. 
Uh, let me show you what I did in the in my book of this same design. right here there it is this was done with two different two different papers it was an orange paper orange and green and then the one with the pink in it and you can uh it was done with two different papers and then i went back and i doodled uh i did a dot of blue paint and then i went back and did a dot of white in the middle of the blue paint and this is a background page and this is called torn jelly print paper and I did torn scrapbook paper. So that's how I came up with that idea. So I can glue this back down. Okay. And I'm going to take this gel and go over top of it. Yeah, you can use any kind of paper you want. You can use painting papers or scrapbook paper, but I did two contrasting papers. And I think that's... Um, you know, getting two different colors. You can do, there's any con com combination you want to do. There's no right or wrong. Any kind of combination. So we got that drying, and we can go back over here and glue these black flowers back on that have been spackled with uh, paint. So, and I'm going to go over top of this with this medium because it, it goes on real smooth. And do the whole thing like this. Oops, the red is a running. It's all right. That's just extra texture. <laughs> That's a bonus. That's a bonus. So I thought I had one more. I do. It's right there. So this is a background page, and uh, if if it's too bright, we can we can hit some get some gesso on it next time and tone it back. If it's if you can't do a Picasso game on top of it and it's too bright, you can you can tone it down. Splatters, the splattering. And this is what my paper looked like before I punched them. I did it with just white paint. So that's that. So I think that's all I'm going to do. Um, I can go ahead and trim those off. Get them out of the way. But this is just some scrap paper that I had in my scrap box. And it was a, a way to get, to use it up. To way, a way to use up my scrap papers. These were all, even the black was a piece of scrap. So this is how you can use up some of your scrappies. Okay. Now I'm going to let this over to dry and we are ready to do our paint along y'all ready to do a paint along and after this dries real good i will come back and 
cut the music paper off of the edge of that too before I close the book. So I'm going to let this dry now. Okay? Two techniques. So, I'm going to put that up. Put this up. Cool. I love it when I get to use my art supplies. And this was a, a food box that I had. It had it had donuts in it. <laughs> Snackies. And I painted the box blue. And I put these paper clips on the end to, to, for it to dry. And I'm going to use this to put my cards in. I've got a bunch of cards up here on my desk that I never use. I never get past this this box in the background i've got some some uh credit cards <laughs> to spread some paint around in got enough to choke a horse there's some more credit cards to spread some paint around i just need two or three out i don't need all of these out i just I poked me twice i <laughs> will fix that little thing Poked me twice. See what else I got back in here that I don't know that's in here. There's some cards, ACT cards, something that I've I've made, I guess. So we're going to put some of these things in this box and go through it. And, and there's some more cards. So let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do with these cards. I leave some of these out and I've got some sticky notes back here. And some bags. Don't need all that. This is uh, ACT card holders. I bought some of those. I never use them. Here's some sticky notes. Pattern for something. Cleaning my desk off, girls. Here's a little notebook. Here's some stickers. And here is some very hard uh, cardboard backing for something. So I'm going to put those in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the cards. I use a couple of cards. I, can, I don't mind keeping a couple out if I use them. There's an, a uh, flash card. And I, I will keep my stamps in here. I could keep a little bit of a postage sticky note, but I don't need a whole bunch of them. Just a few cards. That's it. Put some of this other stuff away. I'll put the stamps back in here. And there's a picture of my hubby. She gets to stay up front. So I've cleaned a drawer out. Here is a piece of papers. <laughs> Something to do with papers. Don't know what. Here is some ephemera. This was a girl that I tried to remember her name. My felting girl that I watch on T on YouTube. I don't need this one. There's some more big cards more cards i did that oh gosh i cannot believe i did that craftalanche that was a real craftalanche girls a real craftalanche okay 
Okay. We'll put this up front because this is some of my wax encaustic art that I did. Don't know what that was for. That was for bingo. That's okay. We can let it go. And the other thing I was going to put in here are some of these cards that I have up here. And then I could put this box over in the closet. Some cards. And I use, I put these in Happy Mail. Which is fine, but I don't need all of them up here. <laughs> and these cards, I don't need all of these cards up here. Too many. Okay. That's a little better. Okay. I'll leave those. Good, good. See, I can put my ACT book up here where it needs to be closed. I need to have it at close at hand. And it's been getting in my way over there, over yonder. Okay, so this is good. I'm going to leave this little junkie box here to put things in. It's laying around on my table. So this will be perfect. All right. Thank you for being patient with me while I clean that off. That was a good deal, man. And I've got a little room here that I could put some of my some of my bottles and maybe my glue. I could put my glue up there. Mm -hmm. I just might need that. Okay. Uh oh. Something else fell off over here. Okay, now uh, the next thing we're going to do is the paint along. So this is going to go over in my closet for storage. I feel like I've got an I got a whole lot of room left over now. Woohoo! So here's our paint along book. And I did this, this today, and this was a gift card, uh, a card uh, that I received in the mail, and uh, I kept it, uh, the card, because of, it was beachy, so it was, it was a big enough card that I could tear it up and put it on here for the back of my book. So this is what you can do to your books, and I put glue on the back of it so that it's just not, it's just not this. So I did that. And I started painting this, and I've got to figure out, maybe you all can help me, figure out what I can paint on the front of this, uh, on the front of this book. We are going to paint, I need to paint something here too. So, we painted the bears, we painted the lion, we painted the polar bear. The next one is a panda. So we're going to paint a panda, and and Joe, I wasn't supposed to show it to you, but it was already there. So Joe, Joe did me a sketch yesterday. Didn't he do good? He signed it. Didn't he do good? <laughs> so I'm going to paint over here too. And we talked about painting with uh, Q-tips. So, do you want me to want me to do it with Q-tips? I think I think I will. I'll go get my Q-tips. It'll be different. <laughs> yes, he did do awesome. Mm-hmm. So, we're right on schedule. So, I'm going to paint this, and I think I'm going to use Q-tips. So, I just need to go get me some Q-tips out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm.
Okay. I love I love what I did with the background. Um, I just streaked it, and I like it. <laughs> Hi, Suzanne. No, I didn't see you 30 minutes ago. I'm glad you're here, honey. <laughs> Thanks, Suzanne. And my, my uh, screen is lagging behind, so hit the live button if you all need to hit the live button to speed up. So uh, I'm going to use... I'm going to use... Uh, <laughs> Have I answered everything y'all need? <laughs> oh, okay, Suzanne. I'm sorry you had a bad night. I understand. Yes, I do. So, anyway, I'm going to get me a dry palette. Actually, I'm going to get a clean palette. Because we're using black and white. And we might use a little contrasting color. So I'm going to use. I'm going to use a, a gray. And I've been using the silver. Uh, the silver as a gray. The, the uh, metallic. Uh, so I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use it as my base of my bear. And it's going to be like the background or the the um, edges of my bear. Then I'm going to use black and white. And this one is watered. I'm going to look for one that's not watered down. See what I can find. Well, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to use the dragonfly. <laughs> I got it in black. Woohoo! Where's my other? Do I have another black? I don't think I do. And I've got the the white metallic too. That'd be. I'm going to use these for top coats. I'm not going to use them on the base. Let me see. I have to go down. Down to the store down in the basement to get me some more black. I don't think that's black. I think it's green. That's green. And I'm out of white too, so uh, I don't have very much white left, but I think I've got some down here. One moment, please. I'm going to the store. <laughs> Going to the store in the basement. Ooh. Going to the store. Looking for white. There's some white, but that's watered down. I don't want to water down. Let's see here. What color? What color? Purple, brown, more brown, red and blue. I think that's a blue. Almost. Brand new bottle. in here there's my black antique 
that's why that's watered down this is antique it might work good on the the uh, the yellowish parts of his wool of his fur i guess i've used all my white emergency emergency ah i got more white and i got another black Better leave it out. Okay. But I do need to get me some white. And this is white, I think. Uh, there's a little bit of white in there. It's kid paint. I don't care if it's kids paint. Kids paint. Adult paint. Be any kind of paint for me. <sighs> and I want to get me some good clean water for my brushes. So one moment I'm going to change my water out. I need good clean paint, water paint. Alrighty. Now we got some good clean water so I don't have to worry about contaminating my black and white for the for the panda. Okay, everybody okay? Uh Yes, it does. Your habitat book does. That's where I got my panda from. That's where I mine came from. It was in the Asia department. <coughs> yeah, okay. Alrighty. We're on the same page now. I didn't know that person, whoever you're talking about. And just because um, somebody uh, has been streaming live, you know, YouTube recommends videos. If, if she's a crafter, she'll recommend, you know, crafting other people who do crafting videos will be recommended for you to watch whether they're uh still doing lives or not or still streaming <sighs> this is called antique parchment and it's got a little bit of a um, creamy to it it's not 
you can see that it's creamier and this is wider so that might be good for the parts that are uh discolored this this that are a little bit dark uh, around his face so i'm gonna try that so brand spanking new let's open it up let's use it i've been really using the paint lately Okay, I can't get it open. Now, let me try it again. There we go. Got it open that time. So, this one's creamy, and this one's whitey, and this one's blacky, and I will be using some more green for the bamboo down here in front of him or grass or whatever it is that he's eating. I think they only eat bamboo. Okay, so these are the three the colors that I'm using right now. And I want to accent with these. I want to accent with these. Okay. All righty. Uh, <clears throat> and I will be using some greens, probably a light and a dark green for the leaves. And they won't be a whole lot. I won't need a whole lot to do that with. But I will use it. That's it. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a quick, uh, a quick sketch with a pencil. And <clears throat> the paint has got a, just a big round head. That's all there is to it. So, I'm just going to make a big round circle for his head. And I'm going to go over top of this pencil, so I'm not going to worry about it showing. Um, and his ears <clears throat> are, they go up and then they bell out. They bellow out like a mushroom. Something like a mushroom. And uh, so that's what I'm going to try to do is, is uh, something like that. And then on his, he's got a, a shoulder. And we'll just make his other shoulder the same way. And then there will be some leaves in the front. But I'm going to paint him first and then I'll let it dry and paint the leaves on top of him. And then for his nose, <clears throat> he's got a pretty wide snout of a nose that kind of goes out. And here is his front part of his nose. It's kind of like that. And then it goes down into a point and maybe a little wider down to the point like that. 
there'll be plenty of paint on this to cover that. But that's what I want to kind of do. And then it goes to his lip. And then he's got a, a smile. He's got a smile. And then this is the side of his face. And it goes up into his eye. And his eye goes down. The black part around his eye goes like this like a kind of a jelly bean look and then this one goes up and around and out and back around to the front of this nose and then he's got a eye like that and there's his that's it he doesn't have you know any eyebrows he's got a couple of little uh whiskers there and then of course he's got some real light whiskers on his face and his mouth kind of goes like this underneath of his lips and that's about it. And then the rest of it's all fur. So I'm going to, without further ado, I am going to I'm going to start with the white and I'm trying to decide. I don't know if I want to go ahead and brush it on first or Q-tip it on first. I guess I'll just dive into the q-tips and around his face is the yellow the yellowy white so and i'm going and i want to use the silver as a base so i'm going to q-tip all around his face with the with the uh silver gray and it probably it's going probably going to take me a while to do all this uh poking because a Q-tip is only that big. <laughs> but it kind of goes fast. Once you get going. And I will be pouncing over and over. Uh, I want the gray to be kind of in the on the background. So when I do the white on top of it, some of the gray will show. And, and I only need to do this around the edge, the perimeter of his face. I don't need to do it all in the middle. Maybe a little bit on his nose. I could do a little bit up there. But that's not going to take too long. This will be quicker than I think. When, than we think. So let's see. A little bit more over here. And over here. And a little bit up in here. So, uh, Cheryl's going to watch. Okay. Watch away, baby. Okay. Let that dry. And I can use the other end. I thought I was going to need a whole bunch of whole bunch of these, but I don't think I will. I think I can I get to just need six. So I'm going to go into the the white and I'm going to go uh, around on the uh, silver. And 
And it might take a couple of coats of the white to cover up this green. The silver was a metallic paint, so it it covered a lot better than this white is, this acrylic paint. And if it gets messy, you could just pitch it and get another one. <laughs> I've never really, I think I've done some flowers one time with a Q-tip. And I, I bundled the Q-tips up in a rubber band and used them as a cluster. I think I did that one time. It's been so long ago, I don't remember. So you see, I think I really need to go over this paint at first because I've got too much green coming through. And I could, I could use gesso because gesso is thicker. <laughs> So that's a possibility too. And it's got white paint in it. I went and got all that water and now I don't need it because I'm using <laughs> I'm using because I'm using Q tips. Um uh, let me try this. This white paint is not uh, I think it might be watered down. Because it's not covering up very good. And it's kind of wet. It's not, as, it's not very thick. So I'm going to try this gesso. And see if, if it will do a better job. And it will. Look at that. So much better. So we're painting with gesso tonight. <laughs> Why not? It's got paint in it. It's paint. It'll make it more textury too. It'll give it a texture. A thickness texture. Oh yeah. This is good. Now I still see some green. But we're just going to have to go with it. If, we, if I have to put another coat on top, I will. And it's not going to take that long. And I'm, I'm literally covering up the gray. The silver part. And if any of the gray comes through. That's extra shadowing. Which is what I want. And the two tips get a little icky after a while, so you have to switch them out. I guess they get soggy. Soggy or something. We're doing it together. Moving along. It's working out real good. I have to kind of watch what I'm doing though. So I can't read chat.
Good night, Elizabeth. Thanks for coming in. See you. See you next time. Okay, and then after I get this white dried, I'm going to go back over the edges with a little bit of that antique white I got over here. But the white gesso is definitely a, a plus. It's thicker than just the white paint. And I need to put that on my list. I need white paint because I've got a whole jar of black a whole big bottle of black it's lumpy but I've got it okay let's see now I'm liking that now I'm going to go around the nose Give me a new Q-tip. It gets, they get skippy. Hi, Mary. Okay. All righty, Mary. Enjoy. We're doing a panda right now. So, really, this isn't going to take long at all by doing this. I might have to do a couple of coats, but it's not going to take long to paint. Because I got to do the black, and I've already done the first layer of the white. So, you see, it's not going to take long at all. So, so this is this is good. I guess it's a good thing. We'll just have to do this. Well, of course, when you're working with a black and white. But it took me a little while to paint that white polar bear the other night. I had to figure out how to. It just came out. That's just a. It was just a. It was a natural thing that came out of that one. So I'm going to let that white dry and I'm going to go into my black now and I'm going to go down here and just start filling it in and I'll have to go with over it a couple of times too because I can see the green coming you know coming through that's okay we'll get it I'm just doing it again over and over and over. Here I am. That's what they said I would be good at in an assembly line. So maybe that's why I'm good at painting. I don't know. I don't think I'm that good. I'm doing it. I've never done it before. We're doing it together. <laughs> I'm having fun. I know that much. This is this is really fun. It's easy. It really is. It's super easy.
super easy when your when your Q-tip gets to be sloppy, gets gets a sloppy look to it when you pounce. Then you just throw, turn it over, do the other side. When it gets sloppy and over soggy, go get a new the tooth, go get a new the Q-tip. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Moving along fast. It's really going really fast. We might like the green coming through. <laughs> so, what do you guys think about the Q-tip? It does texture. It's a good art tool. Great. We might find another animal that we might need to use it on. Well, one thing about this painting is there's no blending like I like to do. <laughs> I love to blend. But I like doing this too. This is easy. No fuss. No muss. Easy peasy.
Okay, what do you guys know? You can y'all tell me something or ask me something? What do y'all want to know? What do you want to hear? I like to talk and paint. I would have to keep the Q-tips far away from each other. You mean after you paint it? You don't like touching them, like them touch each other? I know, it's a polka dot panda. No, Joan, um, the dogs are laying in there on the bed. And Joe went out to turn the lights off in his tool shed, but he hadn't come back in yet. So he's out there playing in the tool shed. Well, I'm using black right now, so there's nothing to get mixed up. And... Uh, the white is almost dry, so I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of white on. And the white is, is oh, I got the ears left to do, so I can do the ears. I'm going to let the black alone right now and let it uh, dry. And I'm going to do the ears. It doesn't matter if they over, if the, if the dots overlap. It doesn't matter if they pounce on top of each other or close to each other. Cheryl, if that's what you're thinking, you don't have to do it like this. You just you just go in a line. Just keep moving. Like that. You just go over and over and over and over and over. Until all of the background is covered up and I can still see a little green in there but I'm going to go over them again it's not as it's not hard like you think I thought it was going to be a challenge but it's not it's not a challenge at all. Just dive in and do it. It's not bad at all. Not at all. Okay, and there's black around his eye, so I can go ahead and do the eyes. Go ahead and do the eyes. And the nose. Now I'm painting the nose. <laughs> the nose doesn't have to be pokey dotty. And I'm painting with the Q-tip. And I will need to go over it again.
and I'm going to get a um, uh, a liner brush. to uh, do his mouth. Just for me. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's 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 not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Got a grin on his face. So he's happy. I'm telling you, he's a happy boy. Hey, we got to pick a name out now. What are we going to name this little panda guy? Is it going to be a little girl or a little guy? Gotta have a name. Thank you, Mary. Dottie or Susie Q. Teachy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Dottie was the first one, and I like Dottie. Dottie. <laughs> it could be Dottie. Mm -hmm. And I am going to put another coat on her. Suzanne was Susie Q growing up. Mm -hmm. Dottie is cute. Come on, you gotta gotta go with the corniest, the corniest one. <laughs> Squeaky. <laughs> okay, now let me see. I think I'm gonna get the hair dryer out. <clears throat> the heat gun. And I don't really mind the green as much as I th thought it was. I ain't going to go over some of it again. So I'll fix his eyes. His eyes don't match. So 
So I'll fix them a little bit here. Violet, did you like the way I, I dressed your uh, your box? <laughs> oh, Cheryl wrote a poem. Dottie was a panda who smelled so bright. You had to watch her or the Q-tips would disappear from her side, from your sight. <laughs> okay, where's my book? Let me look at it. Let me find it. It's right here. <laughs> that is so cute, Cheryl. And Teresa said, uh... Oh, okay. If we have time tonight, since I'm this is almost done, let's do a let's do a Picasso and Q-tip. I'll do it. I'll do it. I think we'll have time. Here we go. Let me get a page. Here we go. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, I have to write in pencil. Oh, you don't? Oh, my goodness. What can we substitute for a cute? Hey, how about the end of an eraser? Would that substitute? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you went ahead and opened it. Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, a crochet hook could do it. Cheryl, Cheryl's done. Okay, let me write your poke down, poem down before it rolls off. Dottie. Dottie was a panda. Who smelled so bright? You had to watch her or the cute tips. Would disappear from your sight. All right, thank you, Cheryl. That was so cool. Loved it. Okay, now, um, dry down a little bit. I want to go back over the um, I do. I definitely definitely don't need very much paint for this. I poured way too much paint. So I can use this paint for the Picasso. The Picasso.
and I'll use my paint pen to do his whiskers. Okay, Teresa's going back to lurking. That's fine. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Joan. And whatever. What else? Lisa's in the house. Hi, Lisa. Okay, okay, I think I'm about done with the white. It really looks so much better on the TV screen than it does in real life. It does. Now I want to go over the black. This eye is not right over here. And I will be uh, drawing the eye. Um, I can see where I've draw, uh, painted it, the eye in. It's an oval and it's solid. I can see it. And I will be definitely uh, outlining the eye with a white, probably my paint pen. And I'm going to try to make this eye to match the other eye. Okay. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, I think that's good on the eyes. That's all I'm going to do. Then, I'm going to go over the ears again. Thanks, Violet. Oh, Cheryl. Okay. Black buttons for the eyes. Well, surely we can find some sort of black button that would fit the picture. I'll get the big jar buttons out. Okay, I think that's good. And I still want to go over the um, the rest of his body a little bit too. I might need another um, another white, some more white on him. I'll see in a minute. Okay. <laughs> he looks a little creepy. He does. He looks blind. <laughs> He's a blind panda without any eyes. <laughs> I'm going to get the buttons out. Fear not. Hang on. We got a few more minutes left. It's not over yet.
Okay, right there. Alrighty, I love it. It's going good, girls. Okay, I think that's it for the black. And I'm going to take and I'm going to dry it again. And um, I'm going to take, he's really too round. He's too rounded. He needs to go, he needs to be a little oval, doesn't he? Okay, Lisa. Bye, honey. He looks too perfectly round. He needs to be just a touch of oval. So I'm going to see if I can't work on that. I'm liking it, girls. I'm liking it a lot. And then we'll get the button jar out. And I need to work on his nose. His nose needs to, his snout needs to come out. Oh, that's what Suzanne just said. Great minds work together, Suzanne. <laughs> Great minds work together. You wrote that and I just said it. Yeah, I'm going to bring his snout out. And I still, I think I'm still going, I can do a, um, just a little bit of a oval, not so perfect. There's something, there's something that has to be an oval here. And I've got this um, creamy collar down here, this dirty collar I'm going to do with, um, I got an antique white to do it with. So it's going to bring down the oval shape. I think. And it might be just this this little bit of shadowing might even do the trick itself.
Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. I think that helped. And I know it'll, he'll look better with his eyes. I know he will. And I've got to type, do some green. Uh, let me see how I'm going to do his nose. Okay, I'm trying. I'm a trying here.
Okay, Cheryl, thank you. Dottie's eyes are watching you, so. <laughs> Dottie with heart shaped eyes. He's got heart eyes. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to bring his nose out any further, although I do see a hint of a great line right there. That little line right there. Actually, I do see a hint of it coming up. <laughs> I don't know how, but it is. Okay, let me try this. I'm painting with my Q-tip now. <laughs> Now, um, I'm thinking, let me go, let me go ahead and, and look for a button for his eyes. Let's see if I can't find something. Light tan. Now the idea is to find two buttons of light. That's going to be our problem. We're going to find some. We'll find some. We'll find something that matches. I got two of these. But I want to I want to take the shanks off the back. I don't know if I can cuz they're glass. This one is not too bad, too shabby. It's a it's a brown button. It's a real cocoa brown. If I can find another one like it, I like it because it's um, it's kind of like a tiger's eye look to it. Got another one of those, but those are glass buttons. can't cut the shank off. I can try. 
No, I can't. There. No, it's glass. It's not gonna. It's not like a wire. Did, but I need another one just like it now. So many different kind of buttons. Who knew? I got two more jars of buttons to go through. So if I have to, <laughs> I'll hunt to the ends of the earth till I find two alike. <laughs> oh yeah, I love I love all oh, the stars. These are flowers. They're not stars. They're plastic. They're not the same color here. These two are. These were from Janet, <clears throat> and they're blue. And they're real tiny. They're real tiny buttons. Those might be an option if I paint, if I do a white eye, a white oval. <laughs> um, I've got my grandmother's buttons, and I haven't come across her button, mother's buttons yet, but I'll, I'll look for them. I haven't found them yet. She's got um, a lot of beads, and I'm going to, I'm going to get all of her beads. And, of course, I gave her half of them, and she bought some, but I, I gave her a lot of the beads, got her started on the beads. So she was making bracelets and things and doing things. These are purple, believe it or not. It's a purple button. With a, with a white center. And they're plastic. And I can cut the back off of them. Which ones were perfect? Shall we give him some hands? <laughs> really? Okay. 
because they got a little white uh, clear uh, diamond in the middle. I don't think they're real diamonds because uh, they're plastic. <laughs> okay, look no further. Purple it is. Who knew? Who would have known? We'll save these little baby buttons for something else. But they're in my button. Janet gave me those. Well, I'll tell you what. This button here, I ought to keep it out. This one here is a, a real brownie button. It's brown, and you can sort of see through it like a Prisma. It would be great. You can see the light go through it. It would be a great tiger button. And we're getting ready to do a jaguar and a tiger. And I've got these little buttons. This would be cute for a jaguar or a tiger. Since I'm, I'm here, I might as well just go ahead and pull a few out. And like I said, I got a jar up there on the shelf that I haven't have it and we could also use beads i've got plenty of beads to go through man that is cool looking it's got the design around the edge of it <laughs> and it's heavy and it feels cold so it might be uh metal and glass this is a glass one it's like a little bowl uh, for one thing i can't see a thing <laughs> my glasses. Maybe that'll help. I like playing with my buttons. Button, button. Who's got the button? We used to play Red, Red Rover with a button. Red Rover, Red Rover, won't you come over and you, you go like this in everybody's hands and then you drop the button in their hand or a penny and that was the next Red Rover. It was some first grade thing that we did. <laughs> now, why did I bring that up? Because of the buttons. I guess I could do this later. I can do this tomorrow. Give me something to do. I'll look for these matching eyes for the tigers that we're going to be doing here. I don't have another one of those. Okay. It is purple, and I think I better, well, I guess I could glue it down with tacky glue. But that's the way it's, that's it. And we're going to name her Dottie. Dottie. Little Dottie. Okay, brain games, yeah. Okay, let's glue these puppies down.
Okay. I think we're done. Oh, I got to put some green um, bamboo down here. So, how did you all spell Dottie? D-O-T-T-I-E? Dotty, and then she had he she has a couple little sprigs of um, feelers coming out of her of her brow like that. Okay, and let me get the, I wonder if I could do green on this, green pen. I know I got the green out, and I think I'm going to look up green bamboo. Oh, here's Teresa's music paper circle background page. Teresa. It looks good. She used, uh, what did she use for her circles? She said she didn't have anything. To, a button maybe or something? I can't tell what she used. Well, let's see what she said. Nope, just background. Okay, looks all right. Let me look up bamboo. Bamboo. One word. Images. I think I can do them with the paint with the paint better than I can a, um, and a paintbrush. The right one. I have to have the very right one paintbrush. Let's see about this one. This is the one I wanted. So I'm going to do it in the dark green first. And I'm going to do the leaves. And I'm going to highlight it with the green, the lighter green on the on the dark green. Oh yeah, that's cute. Perfect. That dry and maybe do a couple of more over here. Okay. Very nice. And I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to um, dry that.
Oh, I see. Okay. You use a syringe. Okay. That was a good idea, Teresa. Good idea. Right, I still got another Q-tip left, and I'm going to go over this right down here. Okay. That's all right. <clears throat> now I'm going to get my paintbrush back and go for the light green over top of the highlight the, the dark bamboo. And I've got little stripes. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. I like it. I don't remember what do they like to eat fruit? All right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave that there. And I am going to work on some more white. I, I, need, I need a little bit more white gesso. I 
Maybe I can just use this white up since it's out. Still in here? I am. You ain't by yourself, are you? Yeah, I am. Uh oh. Look oh, my at girls that. are with me. Ain't that cute, Dottie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you decided to do that one too tonight. Huh? Yeah, I told you I was going to do it. Oh, I know, but when I left you, you're doing something else. Oh, we've done several things. I know it. We've multitasked tonight. I bet you'll be sore. I have to give you a rub. Yeah, back. I need to get the TENS unit out. Oh. That one, honey, I can't paint. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway i think that's all i'm going to do we'll mm. quit we'll quit while i'm ahead mm. so uh the bamboo okay so, so you there did, we are you did it a whole unique different way than i did uh well i don't know well i mean i know but hmm Okay. Yep. Dry it one more time. Did you show them now? Yep. What they say? Oh, she's not by herself. We're here. We're here. Who? They said, I'm not, oh. she's not by herself. Yeah. Thanks, Jason and Trill and all you nice ladies. Okay. Now, do we want to do... It'll just take us 10 minutes. Do you want to do a, a, a Q-tip Picasso? I'll let this dry. And I'll show you Joe's again. I'll have to put his, his in as a tip in. A tip in. <clears throat> I think I need to paint his background for him. What are we going to name his? NASCAR 17th. What? NASCAR is the 17th. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, Cheryl. She's a NASCAR fan. I know, she always tells me. You want to name him Joe? <laughs> Dottie and Joe. Oh no. Sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Yes. How many kisses did he give her? One, two. <laughs> and you jumped rope until you stopped, until you tripped, and that's how many kisses he gave her. Didn't you ever listen to Nestor? Oh, yeah. That, that Those are. The rope. Yeah, that was back in the days when we used to play on the playground. Danny and Donnie. Danny and Dottie. Yeah, not Joe and Dottie. That was a bad experience. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. She was a real sweet lady. Okay, I work, I'm going to work on his later. Excuse me, honey. We'll lay this over there. Okay. Let's go out here. Okay, <laughs> who wants to do another Picasso? <laughs> I'm going to use the paints that I have. I'm going to use the paints that I have. <laughs> he said it was a bad experience. I don't know. <laughs> it's all right. We'll let her go. So, I get to use one of my new backgrounds.
Okay. Who wants to play? If nobody wants to play or you want me to play play by myself, you all want to watch me? And do you want me to use one of these or do you want me to use a plane? Okay. You want me to do it do do it on here? Let's do it on a plain one. Okay. I'll do it on a plain one. And uh, you can watch me. And I just need to, a background. So I'm going to put a blue background down. I'll put a little blue down. Just for good measure. Okay, we dry this. <laughs> okay, Cheryl. Y'all can watch me. One more last fun thing to do, and then we can call it a night. There's just not enough time in the day to do all the art I want to do. There's just not enough time. Okay. <clears throat> let me find the dice and let me get my thing out. Here we go. Hey, how about how about me doing it Cheryl's way and and don't don't use this and just uh, draw what's in my head. Like we did the other night. We did. Uh, I like that one too. I said I like her. I like Sandy. He kind of grows on me. This Andy guy. Uh, this one here. I really like it. It reminds me of a, a native mask. You know those masks that they make. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to use my Q-tips and I'm going to go and do this the way Cheryl, uh, we did it the other day in our head. So, so um, the first one is a face and let's see, what kind of face do I want to use? I'm going to go with the the silver or the black Ooh, i'm gonna go with the black and i'm going to go with a a design that i'm just making up and i'm trying to use the whole page <laughs> he's, 
He's saying, Nora, come on, let's go. Let's go to bed. Okay, there's my face. It looks like a sliced bread. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, the next one is uh, it's toast. <laughs> okay, the next one is an eye. <laughs> And I'm going to go with the green. And and I'm just going to go with a circle. We've never done it, just a plain old circle before. And we could even do more and just go by in, go go to a center circle. And then maybe back to the uh, the lighter one. And do it in the middle. There's my eye. <laughs> I'm just going over my dots. With more paint. Okay. And then I get to do a second eye. <clears throat> And I'm going to do a triangle. Haven't yet do a triangle yet. So there's my my eye, second eye. And I'm going to use the dark green on the inside like I did the other one. And a lighter green in the middle. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is a nose. A nose. A nose. And I'm going to get a new Q-tip and go for the silver. Wheel. Yes, Scooby Doo. You know how Scooby Doo goes. Mm. Well, that's what Nora does. She makes those noises. It's so funny. And I'm going to draw um, something like a cross. I don't know why, but I just want to draw this for the nose. Something like that. For the nose. And then we have to have uh, a mouth. And uh, I guess I'll go with the cream. Okay, I sort of did, made a, uh, it reminds me of a comb. And I think I might outline it in red. And then we've got to do an ear, two ears. And I'm just going to do an X. I don't know why. Did an X for that ear. And then maybe an O for this ear. X and O's. <coughs> and that's it. I think. <laughs> Now we gotta have a name for this guy.
and uh, I think I will use my paint pens to highlight a little bit. Get out of there. And since we're in the dot mode, I'm going to continue the dot mode. For the mouth. And for the eyes. I have no idea why she's barking. Nora. Nora, honey, there's nothing out here to bark about. Nothing. Nora. Nora. Okay, there he is. So, you're talking about a robot. I'm going to name him Robbie. I think Robbie would be a good name. Robbie Picasso. There he is. <laughs> Never a dull moment. That's it. So, guys, we've had a busy night. We've had a good night. So, I'm going to say good night. And I'll be back Thursday. So, good night, everybody. Everybody's dwindling down, slowing down. <laughs> Time to go get ready for bed. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. It was fun. We'll do it again. Let me see what we got um, for our next paint along. I'll take a sneak peek for our next paint along. It's going to be the, the tiger. So we're going to paint a tiger Thursday. Okay. So we're going to lose, use a lot of rusty, orangey, creamy collars. Okay. So thanks, guys. We had a really good time. And even I got Joe involved. He did this last night. And we're going to name him 
Dan was it Danny? Danny and Dottie. Okay. And I think I'm going to paint his background for him. Shh. He won't care. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks for hanging with me. Suzanne, I mailed you a box this week. Today. So you'll be getting it this week. Uh, maybe by the end of the weekend. So uh, I'll see you guys Thursday night. So y'all have a, have a great day tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs> good night, everybody.